Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope your day's off to a fantastic start. Heck, I hope that your August is off to a fantastic start. Um, I can't believe that we are, we're done with July. <laughs> also, um, I just realized that I'm wearing the exact same shirt that I wore in yesterday's video, but I can assure you I did not film uh, my home fragrance empties and this video on the same day. I just bought the same t-shirt in multiple colors and several of them in white. So um, anyway, it's a totally different day, <laughs> but we're still doing empties. So uh, let's get into it. I'm gonna grab my bucket here. Hold on, she's, she's very full. So uh, here she is. Um, listen, you guys, this is going to be a substantial empties video. I will try to link everything that's in here in the description box down below. If you wanna read up more about this stuff, other people's reviews, ingredients, price point, that kind of stuff, check out the description box. It's always a plethora of information. Um, but yeah, there's a lot in here. That also means that this video is probably gonna take a little bit longer. So bear with me. I love doing these empties videos because I don't think that there is a better review of a product than an empties review because you use the whole thing. I feel like it, you really have a sense at that point whether that product is the right fit for you, whether it accomplished anything for you, um, whether you liked it or not, whether you would recommend it, whether you'd repurchase it, all of that kind of stuff. Like I feel like by the time you finish something, you have a pretty good sense of what, what that thing is all about. So with that in mind, let me tell you my opinions about these things. <laughs> that I finished. Again, um, I didn't necessarily start all of these things in July and finish them in the month of July. Some of these things, for example, like this shampoo, actually this is the conditioner, but I also have the shampoo in here. This conditioner I had open in my shower probably for a year. So, you know, started at various times. Sometimes I may have put something away for a few months and then grabbed it back out. But uh, nonetheless, I finished the stuff. So let's let's start here. Let's start with some hair stuff, right? Okay, in terms of hair care, I am someone who definitely splurges. I spoil my hair because I love my gray hair. If you're new, this is naturally gray. I don't I don't dye it this way. Um I started going gray very early on in life, and by the time that I got to like my mid-30s, I was just kind of over dyeing my hair all the time. I'm 44 now, I love it. And I try to take really good care of it. And um, yeah, I would encourage anyone who's interested to go through the gray hair transition. I do have a number of gray hair related content here on my channel. So if you need some inspiration, the videos are there. But one of the things that you need to be a little bit more cognizant of with naturally gray hair, or even if you dye your hair gray, is that it can tend to look a little brassy sometimes. Um, gray hair does pick up, you know, different tones very easily. So sometimes there'll be a little bit of like a yellow tone to my gray hair. Don't love that personally. So purple shampoo and conditioner is what helps keep that at bay for me. I don't need to use a purple shampoo and conditioner on a daily basis. In fact, if you do with gray hair, eventually over time, your hair can take on a little bit of like a lavender or purple hue. If you don't want that, don't overuse purple shampoo and conditioner. So this particular one I have loved for a very long time. The Pravana, the Perfect Blonde is a really great option. Um, right now I'm actually using the Purology Strength Cure Blonde and I love that as well. Um, neither of these two products um, dry my hair out in any type of way. There's a lot of purple shampoos and conditioners that are quite drying to the hair. This is not, it's fantastic. I love the smell of this. Um, I love just the overall performance of it and I use it once or twice a week and it keeps my gray hair looking bright and vibrant and shiny. And again, it doesn't dry it out because gray hair can be prone to dryness. Um, a lot more than, at least in my case, like when I used to like bleach my hair, right? Like, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but like when I was like bleaching my hair, while it was probably damaged and dry to some degree, wasn't nearly as dry as it is now that um, I'm great. <laughs> so I guess that did change <laughs> for me. 
All right, here is another shampoo. This product here was a PR item. Whenever something is sent to me, I try to remember to let you guys know, even in subsequent videos after I first review the product, that it was sent to me. Um, and this product from Pacifico did arrive in a PR package. This is the Coco Peptide Damage Care Shampoo with biomimetric peptides and coconut milk. This is specifically for drying damaged hair. I quite like this, but I do think it was just a little bit heavy for my fine, thin hair. So my hair texture did not change when my hair went gray. Unfortunately, I, it still looks like I have 57 strands of hair. Um, I really love the hydrating benefits from this shampoo and conditioner, but like I said, it did weigh it down just a little bit. So I would maybe be more apt to recommend this for those of you that have not necessarily like you don't have to have like thick hair, but I think you have to have hair that isn't necessarily prone to kind of going flat with a slightly heavier shampoo and conditioner in terms of hydration. So um, good one. It certainly smells like a million bucks. I can tell you that it has a really nice like coconutty beachy type scent to it and it'll certainly hydrate your hair. So worth checking out. Um, uh, you can find Pacifica products at Ulta, so they're readily available there. And since they're on the drugstore side, you can use those coupons from Ulta. So I would recommend checking that out if you have dry hair and maybe if it's if you have a normal amount of hair or thicker hair, I think that's going to work a little bit better for you. Okay, this was fantastic, you guys. If your local Trader Joe's still has it, pick it up. This is their Brazil Nut Body Wash. Both Craig and I love this. <laughs> we both used it in the shower. It smells like... It smells very similar. It's not an exact dupe. I don't think it's an exact dupe, but it's very similar to the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream scent, which is also the fragrance in their um, shower gel. I don't remember. I think it's the Brazilian Foreplay shower gel. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, I love that particular body wash from Sol de Janeiro, and I've purchased it in both the regular size and even like their bigger size of, sizes of it as well. Um, I love that particular fragrance. Um, it's the Shirosa 62 fragrance is what it is. This is very, very similar. It's not spot on, but it's similar enough to where most people who love that Shirosa 62 fragrance, I think are really gonna like this fragrance as well. And this is $5.99 and 16 fluid ounces, and it is not drying. I won't say that it's hydrating per se, but it's certainly not drying. This has coconut oil and shea butter in it and it lathers up really nicely. This was fantastic for shaving my legs. Um, I just really love this, and I do plan on going to, tra to Trader Joe's at some point this next week, and I will pick up another one of those if it's still in stock. I, I'm hoping that it is. Um, here we have the Native uh, Sweet Peach and Nectar Moisturizing Conditioner. Um, this is something that I kind of tried on a whim um, from Native. Uh, their deodorants don't work for me. I wish they did. Turns out Lumi actually works a lot better for me than Native does. So if you are trying natural deodorants and you couldn't get Native to work for you, try Lumi. But I really actually did like this particular conditioner. Um, it Definitely, I would say, if you have hair that's very fine and thin, I'm not sure that this moisturizing formula is the best fit, but I think they actually have a volumizing option, so definitely test that out. Um, but in terms of like just how it performed, um, for the price, I was really impressed. This is silicone-free, sulfate-free, paraben-free. Um, and it's uh, 10 ingredients, which is kind of neat. And they list them out just in a little line here. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, I think it's definitely worth a try. I definitely still prefer my higher end hair care products, but I do think if you're looking for drugstore hair care, especially maybe for your kids, um, they have some great fragrances in this line and um, a few different options in terms of, um, you know, a fit for dry hair, fine, thin hair. I think they even maybe have like a curl formula. So worth looking into for sure. I purchased that from the Native website, but you can find Native stuff at Target. My Target just recently underwent um, kind of a big renovation and there's quite a number of Native products in store, but they don't have all of the scents that are available so but when you order from their website sometimes you can even get like a discount code if you sign up for their emails so speaking of native 
Oh, and here's the shampoo. So the shampoo and the conditioner. And the smell, I think the smell is amazing. I'm, I'm big on fragrance. I know there's a lot of people that don't like fragrance in their beauty products. I happen to really love them. Um, but this sweet peach and nectar kind of smells like the Haribo peach rings, which I really enjoyed. Um, and then also native body washes. <laughs> So this is the Candy Shop Sour Berry Belts Fragrance and Man. So I had this one for Craig. I loved this one. <laughs> I would reach for this a few times in the shower as well. It really does. It smells exactly like these Sour Belts. Like, they're so good. So um, it's definitely that like blue raspberry kind of scent that you're getting here. It's yummy. I don't find these drying and again, great for shaving the legs. Definitely will get you super clean. They smell yummy. They have a nice lather to them. This is more of like a soapy kind of lather. This is more of like a creamy lather. So it's the difference there, but both really fantastic. More body wash. Okay. So this is, this is from Lumi. I'm really wanting to try more from Lumi. This is their acidified body wash in the toasted coconut scent. So um, this is apparently powered by mandelic acid and it is supposed to be good for your entire body. So pits, privates, and beyond. <laughs> um, I will say I was able to use this all over my body. Um, I don't have an, like any type of issue with like body odor at all. Um, but I did really like the way this cleaned my skin without drying it at all. Um, I really did use it everywhere and it irritated no parts of my body. This actually, I even use this on my upper arms where typically I avoid fragranced products because I tend to be prone to eczema here and here for some reason. Um, it's just in this one area of my body. This didn't irritate or inflame that at all. So I really like this. I have the tangerine scent in my shower now. You can find these at Target. Target sells Lumi as well. So um, definitely worth checking out. Um, great for travel because you don't have to take several different products with you. You can just kind of go with that one. So. That is fantastic. Um, hi, speaking of the Boom Boom scent, here it is. This is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. Um, I have gone through many of these over the years. I absolutely splurge on this, even though there are plenty of dupes available. But the original, I think there's something special about this. First of all, the fragrance is absolutely heavenly. This is quite fragranced, um, pr pretty heavily fragranced. <laughs> Um, I love to pair this with some of my different perfumes that have like a nice coconut or summery beachy base to them. Um, so this has been fantastic for that. But I also love this on my legs because it does have this really, really fine, I don't even want to say shimmer because that's going to like, I think, scare some people off. But there are some light reflective properties, if you will, in this that just makes my white pasty legs look a lot more like smooth and like even in terms of skin tone, I guess you could say. Um, so I love this during the summer and um, I already have another one open in my bathroom. I, just, I love this stuff and will always repurchase it. I will always try the dupes, but the original, I will never stop purchasing that. That's, it's just too good, too good. All right, let's go back to hair. <laughs> we have the Paul Mitchell Extra Body Sculpting Foam. Um, I have purchased this multiple times in my life. It's a really great volumizing foam. Um, this and the Thickening Mousse from Kenra are probably my two favorite mousse products. Um, and yes, I still very readily use mousse products because that's what I used in the 90s as a teenager and I just never stopped. Just never stopped. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, oh look, we have more hair care. This is the Virtue Flourish Conditioner for thinning hair. I love this Flourish line, but I think their um, moisture recovery line is, it's still my favorite. It's so good, you guys. Um, yeah, I Virtue hair care products in general, my holy grails. Uh, expensive, yes. Do I blow a lot of money on Virtue? Yes, but I love it. I love this particular brand. And I would say if you really struggle with your hair, um, if you have really dry hair that a lot of things hasn't, like that a lot of different shampoos and conditioners have kind of exacerbated over the years, 
would really encourage you to check out their recovery line. I, I, it's fantastic. I cannot say enough good things about it. So definitely worth checking out. Um, I finished the Purology Instant Levitation Mist. Uh, this is a volume mist for color treated hair. Um, it's not color treated anymore, but it certainly works great on my hair. This is fantastic and I already have a backup of it. Um, I'm using another volumizing product right now, but I love this so much that as soon as I ran out of it, I picked up another one at my local Ulta. It's good. Definitely worth checking out, especially if you have the fine thin hair like I do. I, I know, we're, gosh, I just keep going. There's so much stuff in here, you guys. I have two pharmacy uh, green cleans. One of them is actually the strawberry short, shortcake clean. Strawberry shortcake clean. <laughs> um, and this was a limited edition one. I think it's, I think it's still available. Um, it has a like strawberry fragrance to it. Uh, I really like the scent of this one, but I, I love the scent of the original as well. Um, I actually had one of these in my shower and one at the sink. Finished both of them this month. Um, right now, I'm actually using Purity from Philosophy because I found out Philosophy was cruelty-free again, so um, I'm using Purity for the time being. But I absolutely adore this as my first cleanse. Um, if you are interested in purchasing anything from Pharmacy, I do have a discount code with them because, and this one, by the way, was PR. This was sent by Pharmacy. This one I purchased myself, but um, I do have a discount code with them. It'll save you 20%. You can use it on anything on their website. Pharmacy, just as a skincare brand as a whole, I think is fantastic. And there are many products from them that I absolutely love. And Green Clean is definitely at the top of that list. This is a fantastic product absolutely worth checking out. So um, if you have never tried it, I can recommend it. All right, cleansers. Oh, this isn't a cleanser, but it's a scrub. <laughs> this is the Pacifica Glow Baby Super Lit Enzyme Scrub. Um, this also was sent in PR, actually in the same PR package that I got this uh, philosophy include this. And um, I really like this. This is not your typical scrub where it's super abrasive. It almost feels, are these like jojoba beads that you are exfoliating with? Cause it wasn't scratchy at all. It really like very round, soft. Um, I feel like it's jojoba beads or something. Can't really make it out. But this has fruit extracts as well as vitamin C and glycolic acid. So. This is one of those like chemical exfoliators basically. So I would just massage this into the skin, leave it on for about five minutes in the shower. And I feel like it definitely did a good job of providing some really gentle exfoliation. This was never irritating to my skin, but I'm also someone who loves the Derma E Microdermabrasion Scrub. And um, yeah, so this was even much, well, this was way gentler than probably the Derma E Microdermabrasion Scrub. If you typically struggle with scrubs, but you still want to exfoliate your skin in a gentle way, I would absolutely recommend checking this one out. I think it's great. Um, and again, you can find that at Ulta. Um, this is the Alpine Beauty Wild Crafted Actives Creamy Bubbling Cleanser with Fruit Enzymes and AHAs. This was a really fantastic cleanser from Alpine. This also was a PR item, so I did not pay for this one. Um, I like this cleanser a lot. Uh, I... When it comes to cleansers like this that I don't leave on the skin super long, I'm not really looking for this to like provide a whole lot of like, you know, exfoliation necessarily. Um, but that being said, I do think it was a great second cleanse. It certainly removed any additional traces of makeup, dirt, oil, SPF, bacteria, whatever else. Um, I did use this in conjunction either with, with my Foreo Luna Go or my Clarisonic, which yes, I'm, I'm still clinging on to that for dear life. I have a bunch of brush heads, so. Um, but yeah, I, I really like this as a cleanser. I would actually think about repurchasing this in the future. The only thing I don't like about it is, this is glass. And when it comes to skincare products that I keep by the sink or in the shower, glass is really not ideal for me because as I get older, the more fumbly I get with my hands, and I was constantly afraid of dropping that. So, uh, just fair warning if you are, if you're like that, like me. Um, I'm just gonna grab the rest of this stuff out of here. 
and we're gonna keep going. Um, I have a perfume. I finished another perfume and we finished Vacation by the world famous Vacation um, Sunscreen Company. This is only an eau de toilette. It was one ounce. I purchased this at Ulta last summer, finished it this summer. Smells like a million bucks. Listen, if you want to be reminded of your youth, um, if you want to smell like a combination of the pool, the beach, um, swimsuit lycra, banana, coconut, um, salty ocean air vibes, it's all in here and it's so good, you guys. Is it the longest lasting? No, because it's an eau de toilette. But that being said, this is a fabulous fragrance. I will repurchase this, like, absolutely. Frankly, I'm a little annoyed at myself because it was on sale at Ulta for 40 bucks for several weeks. It's not on sale anymore. But the next time that I catch this on sale, it's coming home to me again. Um, I'm somewhat seasonal with my perfumes. And so I, I didn't think that I would wear this like starting in the fall. And I still have some other beachy scents that I could be using this time of year. So that's the only reason I didn't repurchase it, but at least during that sale, but it's coming home with me again. All right, um, I have an eyeshadow primer. <laughs> this is the Viseart uh, eye primer. I love this, it's fantastic. A lot of eye primers make my eyes water. This one does not. If you find that you are dealing with watery eyes and you wear eye primers, might be your eye primer. There's a few that I can no longer use. For example, the Urban Decay eye primer. Nope, makes my eyes water. Uh, back in the day when I tried the NARS eye primer, that made my eyes water. Um, the Milani eye primer makes my eyes water. The NYX eye primer, same thing. This one, the Too Faced, the, uh, the Hourglass Veil, those don't make my eyes water. What's another one that's good? Oh, this milk one. There's a milk. Hold, please. This one. I just recently purchased this. Uh, the Milk Makeup. Hydro Grip Eye Primer. This one's really good too. But also the Viseart one, fantastic. Can't say enough good things about it. Things that are considered holy grail in my world include this SPF. This is the Polish Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense SPF 30. This is my like typical everyday go-to SPF. Um, I'm always testing new SPFs as you guys see every single summer. But that being said, I always return to her because as far as my oily skin goes, this is the very best fit. This is a mineral SPF, it's zinc oxide. I've talked it to death, um, but let's suffice it to say, if you've always struggled and you're oily in terms of finding an SPF, maybe give that one a try. I just, I, I can't say enough good things about it. And I'm oily, I have the oil. <laughs> Um, Paula's Choice 1% BHA Sensitive Skin Exfoliant. This was a PR item from Paula's Choice. Um, I liked this. Um, I definitely prefer their higher percenter, percentage BHA products, but I think if you have really sensitive skin, but you also are prone to clogged pores, this might be the line worth checking out. Um, it is only a 1% BHA and I found it to be very gentle. I used it mostly on my neck and um, on my chest as well. Sometimes, you know, I would break out on my neck and my chest. I tend to like touch my, like my neck and my chest a lot for some reason throughout the day. And um, if your hands aren't clean, that can, you know, you can transfer bacteria, whatever, it, that it can lead to breakouts, right? So um, I would just use this. Uh, I don't think it cleared up the breakouts quite as quickly as the higher percentage of the BHA does for me. But that being said, if you're sensitive, this might be what you need. So I think it's worth checking out. I really do. But for me, I'm gonna stick with either the 2% liquid exfoliant or better yet, my beloved 9% BHA from Paula's Choice, which never be without that. That's great stuff if you are struggling. Um, I might get cut off here at any minute. I have no idea how long I've been talking. I still haven't figured out how to get the timer back on there, but all right, you guys, this one here. Okay, this is insanely overpriced for what it is, but I loved this product so much. I will repurchase it at some point when I can find it on either like a 20 or hopefully 30% or more off sale. This is the Dr. Barbara Strum Super Anti-Aging Serum. 
I use this from start to finish. This was a PR item. I did not pay for this, but I, like I said, I will repurchase this at some point because I fell in love with it, you guys. I think this actually helped the overall look of my pores even more. And I thought that I had my pores in like a really good spot with the 20% niacinamide. In fact, for the last uh, several months while I was using this, I wasn't really using much of my Paula's Choice 20% niacinamide to really give this a solid go. And I did notice improvements in my skin. Um, now that being said, it was a part of like my entire skincare routine, but I change only a few things here and there. Like I try to be very careful with what I introduce. If I introduce something into my routine that is very similar to another product that I have, I take that other product out so that I can make sure that if anything changes, either for the better or for the worse, I know maybe what the culprit is, if that makes sense. So this was really the one major change and I do think it helped with the overall tone, texture, and clarity of my skin in a really beautiful way. But it is one fluid ounce, right? 1.01 fluid ounces. And this is like, I think this is over, I don't even remember. It's, I think it's like some outrageous like $200 price point. <laughs> I'm like, I'm blocking it out mentally, you guys. So I'm not telling anyone that they need to go out and get this. Like you, you can achieve uh, benefits for your skin without buying this product. I'll just say that right now, but I will say that I loved it. And if I ever do find it on a very good sale, I will be repurchasing it. So I don't know, take that for what it's worth, but um, you in no way need that in your life um, in order to feel complete. So I'm not, I'm not trying to create any type of FOMO, but it worked really well for me, so there's that. Um, this is the Pacifica Pore Warrior uh, Booster Serum. This has berry extract as well as niacinamide. I honestly use this mostly on my neck and my chest, and I quite liked it in this area. Um, I really like niacinamide in general. I think it's a fantastic skincare ingredient. It helps to kind of soothe the skin. Um, it really does help to improve the overall look of the pores. What I'm not really sure about with this particular formula is the percentage of niacinamide that's in here. So that's why I kind of designated it for this area of my face. I just don't have nearly as many issues down here as I do on my face, but this was certainly gentle. Um, it was uh, an easy product to use. I also had Stella using this periodically and um, worked well for her as well. So probably worth checking out, but um, I, I can't tell you what the percentage of the niacinamide is. And for me personally, I find that a higher percentage of niacinamide is a better fit. So that being said, it's affordable. So I think it's worth a try if you're in the market. I ordered this off of Yes Style, and the next time that I place an order off of Yes Style, another one will be coming home with me. I love this so much. This is so soothing, and anytime that my skin felt irritated or like if I had like a tiny little like rosacea flare up, this stuff calmed it ASAP. What is it? It is the Skin 1004 or 1004, I don't know how to pronounce it uh, or say it, uh, Madagascar Centella Highly. Hyaluseca, it's kind of hard to say that, blue serum made with pure centella from Madagascar. I don't know that the Madagascar centella is not necessarily better than any other type of centella, but I can tell you that the formulation of this was fantastic. I was able to wear this morning and night. It never interfered with my makeup. It never made my skin overly oily during the daytime. It absorbed instantly. It soothed, it calmed, it took away redness, it took away irritation. Try it. I, I just cannot, it's pretty affordable, I think. And um, the, usually Yes Style has sales, so you can get this on a good deal uh, and you don't have to buy it from Yes Style. There's other, you know, Korean skincare outlets where you can purchase this, but just, if you come across the product, she's worth a try, trust me. I'll try to link it at like the best price point right now in the description box down below. Purchased this uh, last fall, I think it was at the Sephora sale. It's the Glow Recipe Strawberry BHA Pore Smooth Blur Drops. Um, I remember buying this during the sale because it was released not long before and I got really excited about it. I really like this product. Now, I never had it 
interfere with my makeup. There's a lot of people who said that when they put this on, it caused their other makeup to kind of pill up in a funny way. Um, this fit right in with my skincare routine and never once did anything pill up on me. I found that this smoothed the look of my pores. It did extend the wear of my makeup and it kept the oil at bay longer throughout the day. Alrighty, she did cut me off. <laughs> um, moral of the story for this, these blur drops here is that this is an absolute winner for me and I will repurchase this. This is a fantastic product from Glow Recipe. Glow Recipe in general is a really great skincare line for me that I would definitely recommend checking out, especially if you have a lot of the same skin concerns that I do. So many of their products work incredibly well for me. You can find them at Sephora. They're fabulous. This especially, I would recommend. I will say I do wear powder foundation, so maybe that's what made this a good fit for me. But please, please comment down below if you have this and whether it one worked for you or two didn't work for you but also share like what your like makeup routine is after also do you think that it was related to maybe some of the other skincare items that you were using um i use this with a lot of different skincare items in the morning and never had an issue by the way this was just a daytime thing for me so i really did love that there was bha in here um, it kind of almost felt like um, an additional like skincare treatment and bha is great for those of us that deal with enlarged pores and who maybe are prone to sebaceous filaments or blackheads bha is just wonderful at just obliterating blackheads at least in my experience all right i have um another skincare item here. I've actually had this for quite some time and decided to pull it out because I only had like a little bit left in this bottle here. This is the IS Clinical Copper Firming Mist. Um, I really like this particular skincare line and want to try more from them and I loved this mist. This is supposed to be anti-aging, firming, antioxidant, protection, hydrating. Um, I do think that this definitely helped to hydrate my skin. It prepped it for the remainder of the skincare. Um, I just sprayed this on my face, my neck, and my chest every morning and night and patted it into the skin. Um, I mean, I guess I can't say that I saw some huge like anti-aging benefits. I think just as an overall like, you know, addition to my skincare routine, copper has some great uh, benefits to the skin. Definitely go read up a little bit more about that if you're interested, but. I would actually repurchase this product. Um, so yeah, you'll, you'll see it again in the future for sure. That's good stuff. Couple more things. <laughs> uh, finished another Balance and Brighten Powder Foundation. This is my powder foundation of choice and naturally um, immediately took another one out of my backup collection. Here she is, all fresh, ready to go. I just finished this a couple days ago. Cannot recommend it enough. Um, having oily skin, I just think powder foundation works best for me. Um, yeah, I just can't say enough good things about that. And we're going to end with two City Beauty products. This one was sent in PR, but then I also purchased another one myself. So I already have a backup. It's downstairs by my kitchen sink. This is one of their newer products, the City Lips Night Oil. This was not just a night oil for me, you guys. This was just the most heavenly, best most hydrating, fantastic lip oil that I've ever used in my entire life. And I would pay full price for this uh, the second that I ran out of it. Like I love this lip oil. And I do have a discount code with City Beauty, but I often let you guys know when they are doing their more significant sales. Um, I don't know if there is a, uh, a sale coming up in the near future. As soon as I can tell you guys, I will let you know in the community section here on my channel. You can take a look at that tab. Um, if you're subscribed, those community, um, those community posts should also show up in your subscription feed. I will also try to remember to share over on Instagram and my stories as well. But I just love that stuff so much. It hydrates so deeply. It makes my lip, lips look so smooth, so just shiny and healthy. But it's not oily or greasy. I'm, I'm wearing it today. Um, I do have a little bit of lipstick on underneath, but I like to put this over my lipsticks just to keep them looking kind of glossy and smooth. Again, it's not just a night oil for me. I use it throughout the day. In fact, the one down by my kitchen sink, I use that frequently throughout the day to just 
put a nice layer on my skin and it keeps my lips hydrated and looking really, really smooth and just beautiful. So also my beloveds, I'm, st I'm still taking these and I will for all eternity. I love these. Um, these are the uh, Complete Skin Restore supplements from City Beauty. I have been using these for a couple of years now, I feel like. Um, this is the reason that my hair is as healthy and long and just nice as it is. This formula does have biotin in it. This is the reason that my nails, and these are my nails, you guys. These are not acrylics. I grew these bad boys out. Um, they just are so healthy, so strong. Um, I just, they're... I've used several like hair, skin, and nail supplements throughout my life, and these have absolutely been the very best. My hair never grew as fast as it does now until I started taking these. And even if I don't see a single like skincare benefit for these, which is actually what these are touted as more so than like a hair and nail supplement, um, even if I never saw any of those skin benefits, like I would still just repurchase this for the hair benefits for me personally that being said i do not pay full price for these when city beauty has either a 40 or 50 percent off sale i buy like six months at a time so i pay significantly less that way yes i have to pay for it up front but it saves me in the long run i'm willing to do that it makes sense for me but I do have just the regular 15% discount code. And again, as soon as they have another sale, I will let you guys know because I know many of you, you're asking me periodically, when's the next sale? <laughs> so I will let you know, I promise. Anyway, you guys, th that's the empties. Sorry, it was a long one, but there was a lot. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Check out the description box for the links, um, the discount codes, that kind of stuff. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you tomorrow for the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.